Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So our inspiration is gonna be Anna Griffin, the new ballroom slider dies. Love this set and it is very quick to put together, also easy. So if you would like to create this card with me, then stay tuned. So to get started, you're going to need to cut out the front and back of your base. So you're going to need two of these. And this is a 360 degree card, so I will suggest using double-sided paper or solid color paper. You're also going to need, if you would like to add the dimension, you're going to need your curtain layers. You're also going to need to cut this out. And then you will decide if you are going to use the couple or the um, girl dancer by herself. And then you have dress layers for the lady with the gentleman or with the dancer by herself. So that's pretty much it. So then for your main base, I have already cut mine out. You are going to have two of these and they're going to have score lines, okay? But what you wanna do first is we are going to get rid of all one of them. We're gonna go ahead and cut this piece off. Now there is a score line here, so if you wanna bend that first before you cut it, you can do so. And you can do this with a craft knife or your scissors. I'm just using scissors and you just cut that off, okay? So then now these have score lines. Now I know you can't see mine here, but when you do yours, you will have a score line. So your score line is gonna be right here on the close to the um, end of the curtain. And you're gonna also have a little slit here. So that's how you'll know where to fold. So you're gonna start with a mountain fold and you're going to want to um, use your bone folder or your burnishing tool and give it a good burnish. And then you're gonna go valley and you're going to burnish that as well. And then you're gonna go mountain again for the last fold and just give that a good burnish. And then you're just going to repeat that for your second card. So you're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna start where the little slit is or the end of the curtain. So mountain then valley and then mountain again okay and that's pretty much it for that and then now what we're going to do is we are going to flip these over and we are going to connect our cards so you are going to take the the end of your card, not the one with the um, the little piece here, you're gonna take the blank one and you're gonna connect these together. So you see how this one does not have the concertina right there? You're just gonna take this and you're going to glue that up to the score line. So I am going to be using some double-sided tape. You can use score tape or glue. I'm just using this from Dollar Tree. I use this a lot and I really like it and um, it's really cost effective. If you make a lot of cards like me, you run through a lot of tape. So this is a, a decent way. So I'm just going to run some tape there. And then I'm just going to give it a good burnish to get that into the paper. And then I'm just gonna peel it back and we are going to connect our little theater together. So then you'll just take this piece and I'm just gonna bring this up close so you can see it. So it's pretty much just the end of it and you are going to connect it. So you're going to line this up like that and just connect it. And I'm gonna lay this down so I can make sure it's neat. So I'm just lining it up and be careful. And you're just lining it up to that score line. And when you're satisfied with it, just press it in to secure it and there you go so then now what we need to do is we need to take before we close this we're going to add our dancer and we're going to add our slider mechanism okay so for your dancers if you are using a, a um, single color paper or solid color paper 
you can just cut out one of whichever you choose and for this one I'm going to be using the couple however this is white on the back so what you want to do because we are going to be this is going to you know um, you're going to see the back in the front so you can leave it like that if you're happy with that but if not what you would do is just obviously you would lay it on top of whichever color you choose cut that out and it'll come out like this and in order to get a silver backing which is what I have here you're going to need to flip your die not your paper flip your die over and have it cut like this and that's what I did so now it will come out like backwards and then now I can if you can see it this is the original and this is the one I cut out backwards now I can mirror these two together and then when you flip it there's silver on the front and the back so I hope that makes sense for you okay so I'm not actually going to be using these because I have already decorated um, a couple that I did before the video and it took a little bit of time so I didn't want to do it during the video so I actually have two so this is the one that I would like to use so it's the couple and I just cut out a little top for her I added a little bun and I added this trim and then I did the same thing on the back now this is kind of weighty or um, heavy because I added this trim so I'm not sure if this is going to work I don't know if it's you know we'll see um, if not I made a backup so I have this one which I just couldn't help myself I had to decorate her too so I just did the top as well a little bun and I added some tool on here and a ribbon and I did the same on the back so because it is weighty meaning that it's a little heavier then if you would just cut it out like this and just use this um, what I decided to do was this piece here and this is totally optional this piece here I cut it out twice and what I'm going to do is just kiss it and I'm going to glue it together that way when the slider mechanism is a little more sturdier to pull this heavy dancer so I'm just going to glue that together and this is optional you don't have to do this if you don't want to do this then you would just go ahead attach your dancer and um, attach your slider so if you're not going to do that you can disregard this part so I'm just kissing it and I'm just kissing it so that it you know is the same color on both sides okay so there are two score lines and you cannot see the score line on mine so I cut out one in black so that I could better show you so for the score line what you're pretty much going to do is you're going to make a Z so you're just going to fold this one this way and then fold this one so it pretty much fold this one up and this one back that's the most simplest way I could tell you to do it and if you hold it to the side it just looks like a a, um, a weird Z so that's pretty much it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to mine so and how do you know you're doing it in the right right direction is the ribbon here ending should be to your right so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold my um, one here so and this one's a little stiffer because I obviously doubled up on the paper paper I doubled up on the paper and this is Anna Griffin paper so it's already good quality but still because this is so heavy I just wanted to not take the chance okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to take our dancer now because this is weighty I'm just going to show you what I did you don't have to do this remember I'm just showing you what I did because I may get some questions this right here what we're going to do now you want to take your dancer and when you glue them together leave this part um don't glue this part all the way you can glue it some but i wouldn't I, I i just wouldn't glue it at all not yet because we're gonna glue that here some people may want to take it and just glue the whole thing on this side but it's better to do some on the front and some on the back okay so what i want to do to make this more sturdy is i just cut out two more pieces of the bottom so I just stuck a piece of paper 
um, let me show you. I just stuck a piece of paper at the bottom here and just cut that out. And I'm just going to glue that under her dress. And now it's more sturdy. So I, I really like this card. I really want this to work. So the way that I'm doing it, which is all that extra weight. So I'm just trying to make it work. But you, you would just not even do this part. This would not be for you if you're not worried about that. If you're just going to use a plain piece of cardstock, then you would just go ahead and glue it down. So I'm trying to let you know what I am doing extra because I don't want you to think it's complicated. It's not. I'm just doing this because this is the type of card that I decided to make, which was a really sturdy card. So I'm just gluing that on and I'm going to take the second piece and do that on the other side. Remember, this is optional. So then I'm just going to flip that over and put the second layer on this side. Can't stress that enough. This is optional. I'm just trying to give some more weight to my dancers. Okay. And I'm just going to let that dry because this is matte foil and it's a little slippery. So I'm just going to let that dry. So anyways, what you're going to do now is we're going to need to put some adhesive. If you hold this like this, you're going to need to put some adhesive on the back of here. OK, so I'm going to use this double sided tape. You make sure your ribbon is going this way and you're going to put adhesive on the back. And make sure you put a, a good amount and you're using a strong adhesive because um, the recipient will obviously be pulling this card, um, pulling the little slider. So it's going to be pulled a lot and you want this card to last a really long time. So I'm just going to just, you know, you don't have to do this, but I'm just burnishing, making that sure that first layer of glue is sticking to the paper. So then I'm just going to take this off. And then you can glue it down first or you can glue your dancer first. So this way here, and then I'm going to take my little dancer and I'm going to put some adhesive. So you're only going to put adhesive on, you're going to put it on each side. So one here and one here and you can use glue, but I'm just using this. And remember if you're not, um, okay. And then I'm just going to remove the backings of the adhesive tape. Okay. And then what you want to do is remember going this way, the adhesives on the back, you want to take your dancers and remember that we have them split here, the little piece split here with the, this facing like this, the adhesives on the back, you want to go ahead and put your dancer on. Okay. You see what I'm doing? This is the front. The back has the adhesive. I'm just going to take my little dancer and put it right here where we did that little score. I'll put it right there. And you're going to go The stuff is really sticky, which is a good thing. Okay. So then you're just going to go ahead and adhere, the, adhere it on and then look at your back and hear your back on. Okay. And then now you should be able to, there we go. Okay. And then remember this part is the adhesive. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay this down and then when you lay it down, you want to go ahead and run this ribbon through that little slit. 
okay so I got the ribbon there and I'm kind of testing it out okay it works yay my idea I'm not worried about the mechanism working because I know how to do that I'm worried about this being able to pull this heavy little piece of trim this head this is heavy like because I double layered it and then I got trim on this side sorry I got trim on this side and trim on this side so I'm just glad that this is working so oh I have some paper here that's making it catch so you peel that off so then now what you would do is take this piece and you are going to put just a tiny piece of tape or glue only at the top here and the reason is because you don't want to glue this because this is going to go over top of here and you don't want that glued down because this needs to slide through so only at the top so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that and then I'm just going to go ahead and press this down so then now we have I have to cut this piece of paper off right here you see that I have to cut that off because that's catching so let me just trim that and that's only coming from where I glued it okay there we go so I trimmed off that little piece that was catching and there we go success I was so worried now, I wasn't worried about how to put it together. Remember, I know how to put it together. I just was worried about this not being able to support this heavy thing. So anyways, I probably said that like six times. So now what we're gonna do is we can go ahead and close this card. So I'm just using this score tape and I'm just going to run some down the end. And there we go and then just give it a good burnish to get that glue that first layer onto the paper secure and then I'm going to take this we're almost done with this card guys thank you for hanging in there and then we are going to bring this over so just line it up gently be careful because if this tape it can be forgiving but depending on the paper that you use it may rip so try to get it right the first time and I'm just lining it up and bringing it over and then when you're really satisfied with it which I am give it a good burnish okay and then give this side a good burnish. Okay, and if you wanna stop at this point, look at that, your card is done. But you guys know I am super extra, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to embellish with my curtains. Now what I've done is I've cut out, I'm gonna show you. So I've cut out um, two, so one in, in my base color of my car and then one in the glitter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add some foam tape here and then I'll glue it, but I'm gonna offset it so that this part sticks out, okay? So it should look something like this. Okay, so just three, four, five, however many you prefer. Um, I'm doing three. And I won't do all the curtains with you. I'm just gonna show you this one and then um, you guys can finish the rest. So then look, so then you're just going to line it up, but you're gonna offset it. So just kind of line it up like that. And then just some of that glitter is sticking out. Very pretty, like that. And then now what you would do is take some more and this, you can just glue it on if you just want one I mean, um, you, you just wanna put like one uh, layer and not do the double layer, which means the glitter. If you just wanna layer it up with just this color, the base, that's fine. You do that how you want. I'm just showing you something different. I'm showing you what I'm doing pretty much. 
So then you'll put foam tape on the back of this now. And this is this is really pretty. And this is Anna's paper. Um, I'm not sure what collection that paper came from, but it's just some silver glitter paper and Anna's paper. So then now what you'll do is just layer this, line it up and layer it. And this should fit perfectly. And then just always give a test. And look, your curtains are not in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right back. Well, before I do that, you're gonna have this side, you're gonna do that, and then you're going to do your um, your valance or your valance, however you say it. And I say valance. You say tomato, I say tomato. So we're just gonna put some, and we're just gonna do this just like we did the curtain. So that's pretty all, pretty much what I'm showing you right now. And, and these pop dots, these are from um, Dollar Tree as well. And on the packet, it just says, I think it says foam squares. So, um, I go through a lot of these, so the Dollar Tree is definitely in my budget. So then you'll just offset this, just like line it up and offset it just like you did the curtain, okay? So then you would just put this side on and then put some foam tape on this in the back of this for your dimension and lay that on top. So I'm gonna finish that and I'm gonna do that to both sides and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did that to the front and I also did it to the back. So I'm gonna go back to the front and then I have some decorations. So I've cut out some little foliage here and this is Anna Griffin's foliage dies. So I'm just gonna kinda glue these on here and I am going to be using my hot glue because you guys know I love hot glue. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue And this is kind of, I'm kind of like trying to create a little swag here. So just going to glue that down. And then I have a little piece that I cut. It's the same thing like this, but I cut it like in half. And I'm just going to put some hot glue on that as well. I'm kind of just put that like right there. And then for the last piece, I'm going to put that like right there. So just make sure when you're adding your decorations that you are keeping, um, that you are keeping, that there is no interference with your dancers. So it still looks really good, okay? And then now I have some flowers. Now I took these little flowers. I didn't use paper flowers, so I'm just gonna put some hot glue on here. So I just took these flowers, took the little stamens out, glued them to hot glue them together, and then um, added a little jewel. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here, and I'm just adding hot glue to the back of it. And these are little flowers from Dollar Tree. Um, if you have paper flowers, obviously you can use your paper flowers, but I wanted to use these flowers and they are so cute. Okay, so there we go. So we created like a little swag. And then now I have some hearts here that I cut out in some paper. So I have the glitter paper and I have the white paper. So I'm just going to, what I have also is my sentiment here. So I just stamped my sentiment while I, I embossed it. So it's like a, you can't really see it, but it's like a glitter embossing. So I just did happily ever after. And I'm gonna put this on first before I place my hearts. So I can kind of have a guide as to where I'm putting my hearts. So there we go. And then these hearts I just cut them out with the little heart die and I put some foam tape on the back of them and I'm just going to place these and go in here one here and 
one here so I would like to know if you guys got this kit um, I participated in create so I got this kit but if you didn't this kit is available if you are looking at this and you want this you don't have to use this for like here is the idea sheet so you have your dancer and then you have the couple so you can use this for any occasion and right now obviously mine's look like it's wedding and that's what my goal was was to create a wedding card but you can use this for whatever and then I also have some jewels here that I'm going to add on here and we will almost be finished so yeah I would love to know if you guys got it and if you do are you guys enjoying it do you find it difficult to put together because I don't think it's difficult at all I just added like I say you guys saw me I did it on camera if it was going to be a fail you guys would have saw that but I just took the chance because I knew you I'm pretty sure guys some of you that follow me, my cards are like kind of extra so I just have to make sure that what I'm doing can handle all that extra that I'm doing so I really like this and I'm going to show you two more cards okay so this I'm trying to think do I have anything else laying around here so this is the finished card what do you guys think oh my gosh I hope you guys like it it turned out perfect for me I super super love this card It's so pretty and then here's the back of it and all I did was just add the curtains and when you're adding the dimension and the layers of the curtains it really gives the card like some great sturdiness so it can stand and yeah it's not super so there we go so let me show you the other two that I made and this is perfect like I said I wasn't concerned about putting this together it's easy to put together I was concerned about this getting in the way and this being too much so here are the other two cards and I did make these at create so this is the dancer so for the dancers if you would like to make this car and you would like to add the additional dancers in the back which it is also I believe it's on the yes it's here but there's no instructions we were taught to make the card as normal and then place the dancers on the back so instead of gluing them on the front of that um, where the other dancers glue them on the back and then cover this up with a piece of paper so I didn't do that but you can do that so this is what I made with the dancer and then this one is the couple as well and that's the back of it and it just has curtains like I said the curtains really give it some stability I didn't put any on this one but so those are my cards obviously this one is my favorite I am so excited that this turned out very very nice and I hope you guys will share this video um, I was going to put some ribbon here on the uh, curtains and I may just go ahead and do that add some ribbon on each side um, yeah but then again I don't know if it's gonna interfere with the ladies dress so now I'll just leave it the way it is I don't know I may add it but anyways thank you so much for watching and remember I had this one as well I thought I was gonna have to need this one because this one is just with a piece of tool added on but I guess I'll use this for another card so thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions um, just let me know in the comments if you like to email me privately paradise by princess at gmail or yahoo I prefer gmail so thank you and I'll see you in another video.